something very special. It's been kind of a secret, but it's been, been it's kind of been leaked out a little bit. What we're going to do for you guys, I know you're so hungry for season two, and we want to feed you. So here's what we are going to do. Since we have so many of our voice cast actors here, and we have a script, and we have Jeremy's approval, we are going to read the script of season two that is called Troublemaker, or in French, it's pronounced... See? <laughs> That's how it is. Do you guys want to hear a little bit of a season two episode? All right, so here's what we got to do now. There are some characters that are not here today. For instance, we don't have, in this episode, we have uh, Marinette's parents. What's Marinette's dad's name? Tom. We don't have Tom here. Actually, Tom is in France. He's celebrating his birthday. So the actor Tom, Christopher Smith, he is gone right now. But we do have one person who can come up here and play the role of Tom. His name is Ed, I found him in line. And not only was he so <laughs> recognizable because of his costume, I thought it would be appropriate since Max Middleman is here. And you guys will see why in a moment. Ed, would you mind coming up here to the top of our panel? There he is, he's over there. Give Ed a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Middleman is also the voice of One Punch Man. No big deal. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, we also have, we also have um, somebody who I found online who I thought would make the most beautiful Sabine, since Sabine could not be here, the voice actress fully sampler who voices Sabine. But we did find someone in line who looked so beautiful, and boy, I cannot wait to see what her children will look like in the future with her husband. You guys know her by how she is cosplaying herself, but let's bring her up here in a minute. Shelby, where are you, Shelby? Right, there you are, come on, Shelby, give her a round of applause. She's cosplaying as Belle from the Vietnamese. So I figured we'd pick somebody French. Like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I put a lot of effort into this, you guys. <laughs> person right now, so just hold off because I looked and I looked, I didn't find, but what I found was ridiculous and so amazing. And I want to bring up this person who's going to read the character of Alia, who's voiced by Carrie Kiernan, who cannot be here today, but I did find somebody whose cosplay is on point for the Miraculous fandom. Her name is Melinda. Melinda, stand up and get over here because you know her from the Take your scripts, pass them down. Everybody gets one. Hurry up, Volpina. You're faster than that. Look at you. You're a fox. <laughs> and when I say you're a fox, I mean the animal, although you're probably very good looking. I'm married and not looking. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Troublemaker, ladies and gentlemen. This is like a really big spoiler for you guys. Right? It's huge. Should we really do it? Yeah. Yeah. We really, really should. Who wants to do it? Yes, we're being spoiled now. Now, for those of you, do you guys remember the character Jagged Stone? Yeah! Jagged Stone, who is voiced by the great actor Lex Lang, is going to be voiced by the amazing actor Mr. Keith Silverstein, who is also Hawkmoth. And, I don't know if you know this, but Hawkmoth has a personal assistant. Her name is Penny. Penny is actually voiced by Miss Mella Lee. So she is also playing Penny as well as Tiki. She also was akumatized in the very first episode we ever recorded. Do you remember that, Mella? I do. Who were you? Stormy Weather. Woo! All right, so for the very first sneak peek of season two, it's another akumatized character that Mella gets to voice. Give her a big round of applause. Woo! Here we go, we are in Le Grand Paris Hotel. Penny Rollings and Jagged Stone's devoted assistant is standing in the doorway of the rock star's luxurious hotel suite. She holds her phone up against her ear while she speaks to the butler. Yeah, Mr. Stone would like his breakfast brought to him on the back of a bear. Could you arrange for that, uh, please? 
uh, we will see what I can do. Uh, Miss Penny, uh, what, uh, would that be all? Uh, the person on the other end of the phone line now speaks to Penny, and she gestures to the butler with her hand, indicating that she's very sorry, but that she has to tend to the call. Okay, and she yes. answers the person. Yes, a red-eye flight would be preferable. Jagged's crocodile fang hates flying in the daytime. Hmm. And while she's speaking on the phone, with the butler still waiting, Jagged's producer, Bob, bursts into the room. All right, Mayor, yes, who's going to be Bob? I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> Penny! I found the perfect way to market his new album. He's going to be a guest on a reality TV show. Ooh, I, I really don't think Jagged will be okay with that. Uh, no, 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 I wasn't talking to you. Please confirm that flight. Bob is already dashing towards the living room area of the suite. Penny gestures to the butler that he's free to leave. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, I'll call you back. Wait, Bob, wait! Penny hangs up and she closes the door behind the butler and runs after Bob. By the time that she enters the room, Bob is already there with Jagged, the singer, and he turns to speak to her. Penny, did you remember to order those macaroons for Fang? Of course I did. I, I'm taking care of that right now, Jagged. Penny takes out her pen and she clicks the button to extend the tip and she writes Jagged's request down on the notebook and Bob turns to Jagged and he looks very impatient. Your album's gonna go platinum and wait till you find out how. Penny hurries to try and find out and catch up with the butler, but he's already nowhere in sight in the corridor. Instead, she runs into Mr. Bourgeois, the hotel owner, who also happens to be the mayor. And he looks pretty mad and at the same time, scared of the crocodile that belongs to Jagged Stone, keeping a short distance from him. I bring your crocodile back, Miss Penny. Oh, Jacket Stone's croc fang is behind him. I had to lure him all the way here with jam. The floors are in a horrible state. I've also received a barrage of complaints from terrified guests. I'm sorry, but you cannot allow your crocodile to just roam around the hotel by itself. Penny brings Fang inside the suite um, with a reassuring look. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Bourgeois. I, I Don't worry. Mr. Stone will keep Fang on a leash from now on. Mr. Bourgeois looks like he's about to say something else, but then Penny's phone rings. At that moment, she then hears all the people leaving Mr. Mr. Bourgeois, Mr. Bourgeois leaves at the door, holding the crocodile's leash. Penny hurries back to Jagged and Bob in the living room area of the suite. What? You want me to be the guest on Rocker Wants a Wife? There's nothing rock and roll about that show. My fans will never watch it. Penny looks at Jagged. She hates seeing her rock star all upset like that. Mm -hmm. So she racks her brain for a solution while answering the phone that's still ringing. Uh, yes? Of course they will, Jagged. This is how marketing works these days. Listen, Bob, I can dig being a guest on a reality show, but it's got to be music to my ears, you know? Quality. When she hears this, Penny gets an idea, but she has to handle the phone call. Plus, the butler is back now and he's knocking on the door. Uh, I am so sorry, miss, but uh, there were no bears available. Uh, uh, would a pony do instead? <laughs> Why can't I get that part? Penny <laughs> <laughs> hears Jagged getting mad behind her, and she answers the butler, trying to keep a smile on her face. Uh, uh, a pony is fine. Um, can you throw an assortment of macarons in, too, please? Uh, thanks. Uh, no. No, not, not you, don't worry. There won't be any ponies, it's just a crocodile on, on a plane. She shuts the door and she hurries back to Jagged and Bob, who are yelling louder and louder. Deal with it, Jagged! You will be a guest on that show whether you like it or not! Oh yeah? And how are you gonna make me do that? I, I have to call you back. Penny leans towards Jagged and she whispers something in his ear and Bob watches skeptically. Jagged's face lightens up. <gasps> of course! That's brilliant! Now that's what I call a rock and roll idea. Penny, you're the best. What would I do without you? She gives a huge fat kiss on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> huge fat kiss <laughs> on the cheek. <laughs> huge <laughs> fat kiss on the oh! And Penny has hearts in her eyes. Exterior bakery. We move to the bakery, guys. So Tom, somebody get ready. Come over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Here we go. The whole crowd of people are gathered outside. That's you guys. Get ready for your line. Marinette's parents got the side of the bakery, and they look ravenously hungry and fans for Jagged, and they start chanting, Jagged! 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 Shh! Perfect, that was enough. We'll use it and save it for the episode. <laughs> Officer Rogers there too. He's obviously having a hard time keeping the fans back, and they try to push through the door, and Alex says... 
Welcome to Kids Plus! You're joining us live on a new episode of Fill My Shoes! Ex interior of the bakery, close up on Alex, flashing a toothy smile at the camera. And our guest today is the one and only Jagged Stone, filling the shoes of a baker! The camera pulls back to reveal that Jagged Stone, standing behind the bakery worktop, moistening a baguette with a brush. Jagged gives the camera a little wave. Yeah, Rockers! Marinette's dad, Tom, is standing beside him looking super tense. And a big thanks to Tom Dupain for having us here in his bakery. The best in Paris, I might add. <laughs> uh, hello. Excellent. I up. Uh, one punch man, one line. Done. <laughs> and the cameras are watching. Alia and Bob are there too. Alia. Thanks for the VIP access, girl. <laughs> sure thing. What are BFFs for? My Jagged Blog's gonna rock with these exclusive pics. <laughs> Is there anything you like that doesn't have its own blog? <laughs> the two girls are both beaming happily as Sabine looks worried and she turns to Marinette. I'm not sure it was such a good idea to let them film the show here, sweetie. Uh, of course it was, Mom! A jagged ass specifically to come here! You realize how good this is gonna be for the bakery? And Dad's gonna become an instant celebrity! Well, for a celebrity, he looks pretty nervous. <laughs> Look real nervous. Come <laughs> <laughs> up here, Ed. Look super nervous. Excellent. Marinette. Sabine and Marinette smile knowingly at each other. Tom tries to give jagged instructions, but the rock star refuses to listen. Make sure you don't put too much water on the baguette, or it'll get soggy. But it's not sticky enough. Tom, I'm just gonna add a bit more. As he speaks, he tips half of the bowl of water out onto the worktop. <gasps> he gasps. <laughs> Ed, you're nailing it. Tom hurriedly stops mopping the, wa the water up with the cloth. Meanwhile, out of the shop, Penny is doing her best to keep the freakish fan on a leash while she watches the shoot. She fiddles nervously with the push button of her pen throughout. Calm down, Fang. <laughs> Marinette notices her nervous Penny, how nervous Penny is, and leans over to speak to her. Uh, are you okay, Miss Penny? Yes, uh, yes, it's just, ugh. Th this show was my idea, and Jagged's putting all his trust in me, and I just, I hope everything goes well today. Back to Alex, Jagged, and Tom. So, Jagged, how does it feel to fill the baker's shoes today? Jagged sticks two bread rolls on the breadstick, making it look like a little guitar. <laughs> it's awesome! Check out this edible guitar I made from scratch! This is so rock and roll! He minds playing a tune with his breadstick guitar, knocking everything over in the process. Bowls, culinary brushes, the bread shovels. Tom clears up the mess in his wake, forcing himself to smile into the camera. Smile into the camera. Smile. Smile into the camera. It, oh, oh, all alive. oh, you're on a live right now with a thousand million people watching you. He smiles into the camera. Flower! Water yeast in a bowl. This is the Vegas rock and roll. Back to Marinette, Alia, and Penny. Alia pulls out her smartphone to interview Penny, reporter style. Miss Penny, so what's it like working with a star like Jagged? He must seem so cool. Yes, he's he's wonderful. I, I mean, I mean, yes, professionally, he's awesome. Marinette and Alia exchange amused looks. <laughs> Interior, Adrian's room. <laughs> Watching the show with Flag. Since when do you have any interest in cooking? The show's being shot at Marinette's. His Kwame is wolfing down a whole loaf of... Very noisily. Let's listen to Plag eating. Adrian glances over at him, a bit grossed out. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know what you meant then. Adrian goes back to watching the show. We're back at the bakery now. Jagged finishes his song, except now Tom is singing along with him. Ed, get ready. No, you don't have to. He's still intimidated, trying his hardest to follow. They 
Casey's the Baker's Rock and Roll. Come on, Tom. Oh, oh God. Jagged suddenly calls out to Marinette. Yo, Marinette, my favorite little lady, come and rock out with us. Marinette hesitates, a bit shy, but Alia shoves her. She winds up right beside the rock star. It's so cool that we get to spend the day together. Marinette's really talented, Alec. She did the artwork for my latest album. She's only in high school. <laughs> <laughs> wow, impressive. Marinette, too, intimidated to speak. She made me an awesome pair of glasses. Penny! Do you guys remember the glasses she made? Yeah! <laughs> Just check in. <laughs> Caught off guard, Penny hastily starts rummaging around in the bag that she's brought with her to pull out Jagged's Eiffel Tower sunglasses. She gives Fang's leash to Bob to hold and takes the glasses over to Jagged. <laughs> cool, huh? Jagged high fives Marinette from a distance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A true family of artists, and a talented young designer, and a gifted patissier. By the way, what are you going to make for us now, Tom? Uh, how about some chocolate croissants? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, can you grab me a bag of flour, please, dear? Uh, sure, Dad. <laughs> oh, no! Marinette grabs a bag of flour and knocks it all over. Luckily, Tom's used to his daughter's clumsiness, and he catches it before it falls. Got it! <laughs> Pour some into uh, the mixing bowl. I'll tell you when to stop. Jagged and Marinette follow the instructions. Jagged sings. Pour it into the mixing bowl. I'll tell you when to stop. Bang, bang, wriggles his way away from his master. <laughs> Bob lets go of the leash. Fang runs over to his master, Marinette, so surprised that she drops the bag of flour, pouring the contents all over the singer's hands. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, so sorry, Jagged. <laughs> no sweat, Marinette. Jagged picks up the bottle of mineral water from the worktop and starts throwing the liquid over his hands. But when he starts to rub his hands together, they get stuck to one another. <sighs> This is making me hands all sticky. Tom and Marinette try to help him unlock his hands. Meanwhile, Fang licks the flower off of his master's shoes. Alex steps in to try and handle the situation. Uh, making pastries is obviously no piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pun. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the commercial break. And cut. But not really. No, no, no. It's continuing. It's a cameraman. It's a cameraman. <laughs> And off screen, Alec picks up the croissant from the tray brought around by Sabine for the crew. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Thank you, ma'am. Penny speaks to Tom and Marinette as she walks towards Jagged. Could you tell me where your restroom is, please? Uh, at the top of the stairs, thanks. Penny heaves a big sigh of relief. Oh. And leads Jagged <laughs> towards the stairs, inside Marinette's room. Jagged bursts into Marinette's room, followed by Penny. Oh, no, wait, this isn't the restroom. Whoa, this must be Marinette's bedroom. Cool. Hey, there's a sink. Back to the bakery. While Marinette helps Tom clean up the flour in the bakery, the cameraman calls out to Alec, who is enjoying a croissant with Sabine, Bob, and Fang. Alec, we're back on the air in 30 seconds. Alec looks around. Uh, where's Jagged? Uh, in the restroom, at the top of the stairs. Thanks. Follow me. We'll improvise. Alec and his cameraman run off. Back in Marinette's room, Penny is standing in front of the sink wetting a towel, but Jagged wanders off like a disobedient child. <laughs> he marvels at Marinette's creations, and he sees everywhere in Marinette's room, and we note pictures upon pictures of Man, Marinette's got some serious talent. He stops in front of a poster of himself, and he mimics his own posture. <laughs> Rock on, Jagged! <laughs> You've got to hurry, Jagged. Yeah, yeah, relax, Penny. Just then, Alec bursts into the room, followed by his cameraman. <laughs> and we're back on the air with Jagged Stone filling the shoes of a baker. Let's see how this rock star cleans off all that flour. Penny is trying to clean the flour off of Jagged, but first, he just can't stay still. This time, he notices a bunch of photos of Adrian on the wall. The cameraman automatically starts filming everything Jagged points out. In this case, all the pictures of Adrian. Hey, there are more photos of this 
to than of me. <laughs> well, I think the baker's daughter's got a little crush. <laughs> Back to the bakery. Marinette is still down in the bakery cleaning up. She sees the live footage of what's going on oh, in her <laughs> On the monitor in front of her. Ooh, teenage love is so sweet. Oh, makes me want to write a song. Back on Marinette, who is freaking out completely. Show us. <laughs> Back upstairs, in the living room, Tiki emerges from Marinette's purse while she climbs the stairs four steps at a time. <laughs> keep, keep calm, Marinette. It's not a big deal. Of course it is, Tiki. This is a major disaster. I told everyone in school to watch today's show, including... stops in the middle of the living room, where she just enters. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah. <laughs> Not like this. No, Marinette walks up the stairs leading into her room. Interior of Adrian's bedroom. Adrian is in front of his screen. He too sees the footage of the photos of himself. Shoulder smiling wide. <laughs> Looky there, another secret admirer. No, she's not. Marinette's just a friend. <laughs> that photo isn't one of your most flattering, is it? <laughs> On the screen, Adrian and Marinette comes rushing into her room in a mad panic. Interior, Marinette's bedroom. Marinette runs towards Penny. <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? I'm sorry, Marinette. I couldn't find the restroom. Hey, Marinette, do you want me to sign this poster in me? No! I, I just need everyone to leave. And you, stop filming. Penny, do something. Uh, ah, Penny starts hurting everyone towards the door. Okay, okay. In her haste, Penny steps on a camera cable, and we see that Adrian... The live footage automatically gets cut off from his screen, and his screen goes blank. The cameraman realizes what has just happened, and Alec turns to Penny. Uh, hey! You just cut us off the air! I'm sorry! Penny goes to pick up the cable, but Marinette tries to hurry her out of the room. No, please, Penny. G get them out of here first. <sighs> Give me that cable, Penny! We're live! Uh, Penny doesn't know which order to obey, and at that same moment, Jagged starts to sneeze. Uh, <laughs> Penny, are you sure that flower was organic? <laughs> you know, I'm allergic to non-organic flower. <laughs> the cable, Penny, the cable! <laughs> the cable, Penny, the cable. No. Marinette. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Jane, no, get out of no. The cable, Penny, the cable! <laughs> oh, get out of my room first! It's just, uh... But Penny, do you have a, a tissue? <laughs> Just then, Bob's head bursts through the hatch leading to Marinette's bedroom. Do you realize we've got no picture, Penny? What is going on up there? <laughs> Penny looks up from one another as she sees Jagged and Bob and Alex and the cameraman and Marinette, and she presses crazy fast on her pen, but... Penny, oh. you said this gig would be easy as pie. I, I, I just... Stop! That's enough! Get out of here! All of you, just stop! Seeing how angry Penny is, nobody says a word. They just obediently go downstairs. Penny remains behind, alone in the room, clutching the pen between her fingers. Interior, Hawk Moth's lair. <laughs> Hawk Moth feels Penny's negative emotions from his lair. A devoted assistant losing her cool. Ooh, such a fortunate opportunity. The butterfly comes and lands on the palm of his hand. He closes his hand. We can see the whole special effects. You guys know. <laughs> and he opens it up again, and it flies out in a coma. Fly 
fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize her. The Akuma flies up into the sky of Peri. Marinette's room, interior. Penny is still in Marinette's room. The Akuma slips inside her... Hand. You guys are good. <laughs> Hawk Moth speaks to Penny from his lair. Troublemaker, I am Hawk Moth. You've always been the faithful one, taking care of other people and solving all their problems. Today, you are free of that burden. From now on, you shall be the creator of all their problems. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Hakma. That's where we stop. <laughs> Over. We want a picture with you three because you were great. Thank you. One more round of applause for us.